Hey guys. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome to the video. My name is Wande. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel, guys. This video today, guys, is um, gonna be pretty cool. I'm excited about it. So like, I like definitely like, you know, consume a lot of YouTube. I not only like make YouTube videos, but I'm on YouTube a lot. So a lot of people who do, um, like weight loss as their niche on their channel, they talk about like, you know, the, the, top 10 things or cool things or different things that happened to me after I lost a hundred pounds so I'm like I want to do something like that um but obviously it's a lot of stuff like it's a lot of stuff so and I don't want like my video to be super super long so I decided to hold on I decided to get this little bucket here um and inside of it I just wrote you know some random things that I thought would be interesting to share that happened to me um, after losing 100 pounds. So it's kind of, I like it because it's gonna be kind of random, it's gonna be kind of candid, and I think it's gonna force me to be, not that I'm not honest with you guys, but I might share something that I probably wouldn't have if the video was like scripted type of thing. So let's see. I don't know why I'm taking so long. <laughs> Is the first one let me sit back let me relax like put my feet up okay this first one come on <laughs> okay so like i said random stuff in here that i could think of when i was writing it down so uh one of the things i have is that my boobs or my breasts they got smaller um and like I know like a lot of women like when they are you know like if they have like larger breasts like that's like something that they're like pretty happy about us like but if it doesn't like affect their back and stuff but if it's like you know one of the assets that they have that they have like larger breasts and you know they're proud of it they're excited about it I mean I would be too um so when I first started my weight loss journey I was like uh I think I was a double d and I'm currently a, a, a 36B, sometimes C, depending on the bra. But yeah, like my, my boobs definitely got like significantly smaller. And I know, like I was saying before, a lot of people, a lot of women, like that's like an asset that they really love um, concerning their body. So like when obviously women's breasts is mostly made out of fat tissue and I lost a lot of fat. So um my breasts literally like went away <laughs> so they got smaller and like to be completely honest with you i'm not even really mad about it like i i like my breasts like the size that they are so yay small boobs next one okay next one is upgrade my wardrobe guys guys ladies people folks <sighs> If I had to rank like some of the things I'm like most happy about concerning weight loss, like wardrobe and dressing and like fashion would be like up there. It would be like up there, like like number two or three or something like that. My health is number one. <laughs> but that would be up there. And I'm saying that because it was such a struggle, guys. Like, it was such a struggle to find the stuff that I wanted to wear um, when I was overweight. Like, I had to, like, order stuff online. Like, websites like Fashion Nova, like, they have so many different, like, options for plus-size women now. Like, they can wear exactly what uh, women of smaller statures are wearing and stuff like that. And it's so much easily, it's so easily accessible. And, like, there's different, like, sm black small businesses now who are making, you know, clothing for plus-size women. So it's, like, not hard at all to be, to be thick and full and fly now. But back then, no. Like, I remember shopping at Dots. I remember shopping at the plus size section at Fashion Bug. Do you, do you guys know that store? Let me know in the comments below if you know these stores that I'm talking about or what stores you used to shop at for stuff because like it was hard. Like I, in one of my videos, I talked about how I used to make my own skinny jeans because like what they were calling skinny jeans for my size, size 20 and up was not skinny jeans. It was not. So I used to take safety pins and 
close them in a little bit so that I could like close the circumference of the jeans so it could be like skinny jeans. So now that I'm able to like wear whatever I want and like I don't have to like go to a store and be like, damn, are they gonna have my size? Or is there extra large really an extra large? You know, stuff like that. Like I don't have to worry about that. And like that's something that really really makes me happy honestly like some people might think like that's not big of a deal but it honestly makes me like so happy that i don't have to like second guess going into a store even down to like shoes guys even down to shoes like i remember i couldn't wear those thigh high boots those thigh high boots because my calves or whatever my thighs like it, like it wouldn't zip up or it wouldn't go all the way up and literally, I'm telling you guys, I remember this. I was so stuck in that mentality of things not fitting that even when I lost a significant amount of weight, I like couldn't even get myself in the mindset to think that things would fit. So I just wouldn't try them on. So I remember I was at Charlotte Russe with a friend one time and I was like, oh, I really want to wear like thigh high boots, but I can't, they don't fit me. The way my friend like, like freaking like cocked her neck and looked at me and she's like, what, what are you talking about right now? I'm like, they don't fit me. They're like, Wande, get that shoe and put it on. I still have them till this day. Those are my first pair of thigh high boots. I slid them things on, not a problem. I didn't even have to unzip them. I was just like, wow, like, it was like, like, it was just a, an amazing feeling. So yeah, definitely wardrobe, love it probably love it a little too much because I do like to shop um so it's just that thing in me it's like yeah this could fit now I'm gonna get this I'm gonna get this I'm gonna get that but honestly I worked hard I deserve it so I'm not even gonna like say it's like that much of a negative thing I mean you know what I mean I'm still saving and stuff like that yeah <laughs> um okay next thing next thing I'll make sure I put this out I already talked about this one all right more confidence right so yeah i uh definitely you know feel more confident losing 100 pounds um and i want to say like losing all that weight yes there was like a physical change in me but it was definitely also like um an inward change uh along with the outward like change like i just believed in myself more it's just so weird i don't even know how to explain it it's like a switch switched on and like i just began to like exude like all of this like confidence and like people could feel that and like that would bring me more opportunities and i think i like i was easier to like make friends with too like if i'm in a new space and i'm meeting new people it's like it's kind of hard for me to open up immediately because like my mindset is kind of like you're you're that almost 300 pound girl who you feel like people don't really want to talk to so just mind yourself in a corner you know mind yourself in the corner keep to yourself don't draw too much attention because of you know you don't want somebody to say something i sometimes like have to like literally be intentional about not having that sort of mindset and be like no one day you are awesome you are popping you are amazing like it don't even matter what you look like you think you might look weird crazy today hair is not done whatever you might feel bloated whatever put your best foot forward join that conversation say hi to that person give that person a hug if you like them and you think that they're cute i'm just kidding <laughs> or is that really how i feel <laughs> But yeah, just like, just do you, honestly. So like, I literally, it's like mindset is such a powerful thing. Um, so yeah, more confidence is definitely something that I found to have found me after losing weight. All right, so I'm gonna do, how many more should I do, guys? I'm gonna do two more. All right. Uh, I feel like I already talked about this. Uh, people treating me differently. Um, okay, so I put like, um, you guys can see that my writing, but I put people treating me different dash male attention. So um, I guess I'll just talk about that. Juicy, right? Male attention after losing 100 pounds. Okay, 
Uh, I'm smiling so much now, be, right now, like in this moment, because I'm having a good time. Like, I'm dating more. Not even put more, let's say I'm dating because I haven't really dated before. So I'm excited about that. So yeah, I definitely would. So if somebody would say, did you get more male attention after losing 100 pounds? My answer would be yes. Yes, yeah, I did. Like I would never go to parties and stuff like that and have people ask me for my number like that never happened ever, ever, ever when I was uh almost 300 pounds 282 like there was no expectation i already knew where i where i fit you know get it where you fit in type of thing like one day you just gonna go to this party you just go you know listen to some good music and that will be that and you go home and that will be that um but now recently I don't know what is in the air. So like now I'll go out, maybe like five guys will like ask me for my number or something like that. And that has never happened before. And like 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 I've said to you guys, um, I lost the bulk of my weight in college. So when I did lose the bulk of my weight in college and I started getting like more male attention, I didn't know how to handle it. I did not know how to handle it. So if any Joe Schmo asked me for my number, I would give him my number. I wouldn't really ever like deny anybody. Like I would give them my number just because I was never used to people. I was never used to guys liking me like ever. Like, and I remember somebody actually telling me this, that uh, a group of guys, they were like, oh, yo, Wande, like she's, she's a girl. like, I, those were the words that were said and I was just like ayo like this is actually crazy like damn like people are actually like shallow AF long story short I got more attention from guys after losing weight yeah okay last one I hope I answered that well guys I'm sorry if you felt like I didn't answer it well enough all right, last one, loose skin. Everybody, literally everybody, everybody, everybody <laughs> is different. So some people are gonna lose 50 pounds and have loose skin. Some people are gonna lose 100 pounds and not have loose skin. For me, I have noticed that since losing weight, like I have, you can't, you guys can't see it now, but I do have loose skin like around here and my under my arms. It's not as tight. And guys, I'm in the gym, heavy lifting, and it's still there. <laughs> so that's one thing. To be honest with you guys, I don't know if my stomach is what would be called loose skin. I'm still determining that in my mind or <laughs> whether i want to call it that or not because there's fat there there's 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 stuff in there it's not like empty you know there's stuff in there um but yeah it happens and i just want to encourage somebody who's watching this right now that if you do have loose skin and you're feeling shitty about it do not feel shitty about it also i want to encourage somebody again if you are wanting to lose weight but you're afraid about the loose skin i want to encourage you and say don't even worry about it do not let that hold you back from starting your journey trust me because the feeling that i feel now with the loose skin versus me at almost 300 pounds it's not even comparable it's not even comparable i feel like i want to do one more okay definitely dropped one on the floor I became a better cook. I was hoping I got this one. So, guys, if you don't know already, I'm a little chef or whatever. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But I really enjoy cooking. It's one of my passions. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, uh, make sure you do. The My handle is Wanakin's Kitchen, which is also the handle of my channel. And um, I, yeah, like I became a better cook after losing 100 pounds because I started cooking for myself. I stopped eating out, I stopped getting takeout, and I just started cooking for myself. And because I started cooking for myself and serving myself the, my own portions, 
Um, I was like starting to lose weight based off of just eating less calories and also the quality of the foods that I was eating was different than what I was getting from outside. I was able to control how much oil was going in. I was able to control how much fat was going in. Um, I was able to control the amount of carbs I was giving myself. So it was definitely like a win-win situation, learning how to cook and then eating more healthfully. And I would just like watch like different like cooking shows in my spare time. I really enjoyed doing that. And like I would just like get ideas and then I would like go in the kitchen and try it and then it will come out bomb and I'm like mm, I'm like a really good cook like I'm pretty good at this and like it just honestly grew into like a passion of mine and I definitely want to be able to present that to you guys but also um, I know a lot of people are on my channel for weight loss too so um, definitely having like a healthy like merge between the two on my channel is something I'm excited about doing um, as well as um, pursuing my love of cooking and weight loss um, with a touch of entrepreneurship because you know girls gotta make money ladies gotta, we gotta make this money um so yeah i think we're good here guys so i still have a few more of these in here um so if you feel like you want to you know hear more about you know the things that happened to me after losing 100 pounds let me know in the comments below and we could definitely hit a part two up and we can get that out but yeah uh thank you guys so much for watching my channel please if you connected with anything that i've said let me know in the comments below i love i love connecting with you guys again if you haven't subscribed make sure you do have an awesome day thank you so much for tuning into my channel yes we get a videos out videos out videos out i'm so excited guys okay i said i was saying bye so bye uh yeah i'll see you in the next video hopefully i have some more furniture and some more stuff in the background but for now i'll see you guys in the next video